Good morning, everyone. We're here on um, the first day of winter break, right? Are you drinking your coffee with me? Somebody wanted to be in the video. So we're here having a little coffee, coffee, coffee and counter time date. So I have had probably 10 different conversations over the past two weeks about um, countermatch and well actually stemming because skin is just drier than normal which is totally normal in the winter months really anytime there's extreme weather changes but in the winter months because it's colder <laughs> so people have heaters on and um, our skin just acts differently than when it's hot out um, we're a little bit less oily but it's really more of the like going in the car cranking the heater get, ha having the cold air our skin is sure how much oil to produce because of the constant ups and downs. Um, and this time of year, it can be normal to not be as hydrated as normal. We're not drinking as much water. We possibly, I'm not because of this. Uh, I don't know if I wanna show you belly right now. The shirt's a little small. Because of, uh, I'm not drinking as much, but um, you know, just having a little bit more wine, not eating normally, not sleeping as much. I mean, look at, I'm like so tired and yet, why go to bed before midnight? I don't know. Why? Who does that? There's stuff to do, right? Um, so I've got all this countermatch stuff here and I actually had a convert this morning with Paige. Hi Paige. Um, about countermatch and kind of when to recommend it. So I thought I'm going to go over a little pro uh, a countermatch Mom, routine and already, show it in action. So, somebody okay, already so, all our strawberries. I looked at it. Okay, we have another one. We have another one in the refrigerator. So I just washed my face with uh, the Nourishing Cream Cleanser. That is going to be the gentlest, creamiest cleanser that we have. And I'm going to spray my toner, okay? Do you want to spray it on you? Or do you want me to spray it? One, two, three. Woo! Okay, so the toner is, um, this helps to balance the pH. It allows the other products to absorb deeper. So if you're having dryness issues, I really recommend adding a toner to your routine if you don't already because it's gonna make everything else more effective and able to penetrate deeper. Think of like a wet sponge or like a damp sponge versus a totally dry sponge. You go to wipe up that spill on the counter, the dry sponge just kind of gets a little bit wet on the top but it doesn't fully absorb and it just kind of spreads that stuff around on the counter. If your sponge is a little bit damp, it soaks it right up, right? So think of that as prepping your skin. That's what skin prep means for the rest of the products, okay? There are, I don't need the milk. No, um, I just filled so it then, up with more milk. Oh, okay, so then we're gonna do the Countermatch Moisture, Countermatch Intense Moisture Serum, okay? So serums just mean it's a little bit more liquidy than a lotion, right? And it's usually applied first. So to put on the serum, this little guy, some people have been confused, how do I open it? So you pull it up, all right, and there's a little dropper on there. So you push the button and see, it sucked up more. So I'm just gonna go drop, 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 all right? This is filled with hyaluronic acid, a few different kinds, which even though I'm an esthetician and in the spa industry, I didn't realize there was different types of hyaluronic acid. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. So I'm just gonna spread this all over. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get up close to my of, eyes because I could definitely I'm just use some more hydration. I'm some of this on my um, lips right now because they're trapped. Right. So she has very dry lips. I pick her up at preschool and she's like this, looking nonstop. So she knows she puts on her calendula and she puts on her peppermint, which is the lip treatments. Both of the lip lip treatments. Usually we like calendula because it's a little bit more healing, but we don't know where Dad put it last night. So she's putting on her peppermint today. Um, okay, so the serum is the first step, okay? Typically, you're gonna go thinnest to thickest, but when I get to the end of the routine, I'll show you where that um, changes up. So the Countermatch Adaptive Moisture Lotion. You would use this at the daytime. If you're using both day and night, then this is the nighttime moisturizer. It's gonna just be a heavier, thicker, thicker version. Think of it as like a nice mask that's gonna protect and really, um, really, really give that, that hydrating protective layer all night. So. You're gonna put the lotion on, and a little really does go a long way. So that was two full pumps. It was gonna spread over my full face. Now I've been watching people. We've had I've been having lots of events lately, and I'll watch Mama. people put their lotion on, and I realize I realize I don't really do a lot of application demos. Can don't put it squirt, squirt, squirt in your hand, and then go like this, and then apply. 
it, you're wasting so much product because our hands are dry. Our hands don't need our expensive, beautiful face lotion, right? And um, so you're wasting the product, but it, mainly because you're wasting the product. I mean, maybe if you want to spoil your hands, that's great, but it, you'll get a lot more bang for your buck if you do it more sparingly and apply with your fingertips. You can put one drop of that on. Um, okay, and then I'm going to be using the eye cream. I I go back and forth. I typically use the moisture, the powder match eye cream at nighttime, and then the anti-aging, the rejuvenating one in the daytime. Because hold on, Val. Because the rejuvenating has caffeine, which helps to stimulate, so it helps to soften these bags under my eyes in the morning, which is when I want it more. And then I like to add the hydration at nighttime. But because we're talking about counter match, I'm doing that here. Okay, Valerie, so you're gonna put a drop here. Now remember, okay, that's all we need. Okay, and we're gonna drop it, drop it. Remember, Beauty Counter is free of all harmful chemicals, so I'm not like over here letting her use stuff that has retinol or retinol palmitate or parabens and stuff that we usually are like, eek, kids don't use. Hey, mommy will slather it all over her. Um, because everything is going to be free of any harmful chemicals. Not only that is linked to nasty stuff like cancers and thyroid disease and infertility, but just skin irritations in general. Um, a lot of products have different types of preservatives and nasty things in them that can cause skin irritation, and then they put other chemicals in there to reduce the symptoms of the skin irritation. It doesn't mean that it's not actually irritating the skin at a cellular level. We just have other calming ingredients, not we, but products have other calming ingredients to take away the redness. So there's not gonna be any type of skin irritation um, allergen in these products. So my four-year-old can use it. She doesn't normally use it on a daily basis, but we're doing a special video today. Now. The thing about countermat, <laughs> the countermatch my husband uses, can you tell? He loves it. He uses it every single day. Um, so I had to grab a new one for the video. Um, so countermatch is what they call an adaptive moisture technology. So if Valerie used a daily moisturizer, she could use it. I could use it. My husband, who tends to be a little bit on the more oily side, his skin doesn't really get dry, can use it because in science world, it knows how much to, how much hydration to give to each person. So whether you're oily or whether you're dry, it really helps to balance out the skin. So whether your, your, our skin changes with weather, like I talked about at the beginning, um, stress, diet, um, hormones, lifestyle, lack of sleep, too much sleep, our skin can fluctuate its production of oil and really overall skin health. So with skin functioning optimally, it's gonna have enough hydration, enough nourishment, and enough oxygen. That's what Countermatch is balanced to do. Countermatch also has 100% useful ingredients. If you look at majority of the ingredients on best-selling lotions, I'm gonna throw Clinique under the bus because Clinique is the number one selling lotion across the country, the dramatically different in that yellow bottle. I'm not gonna say I, I'm a fan of it, but in high school I was. I thought that was great lotion in high school. But it's common, it's popular. Everyone's like, oh, I've used that, or yeah, that's what my mom uses, my grandma or something. Um, when you look at the ingredient list, only 25% of their ingredients are actually benefiting the skin on a hydration level. The other 75%, 50% um, of them are doing nothing absolutely nothing fillers so it feels like ooh, it's so soft and hydrating but it's like petroleum products that are just sitting on the skin not actually adding hydration to the skin or nourishment to the skin and 25% of them are are on our never list are actually causing us damage inside on, topically but inside to our organs and whatnot so it's kind of crazy to think that 100% of the ingredients in the counter match line is doing a beneficial it's in there for a reason and it's doing something to the skin which being in the skincare industry was Mommy, like, wow, so that's amazing. Awesome, babe. Um, but it's very unique and we have a patent out for it completely new to have this biomimic technology to be able to have um, the right amount of moisture for the right person, even though we have different skin types across the board using it. So that's really the benefit of Countermatch. Um, but for this drier time, like I've never been dry, but I think it's because of the pregnancy and the coincidence that it's wintertime. I've been like so dry and flaky, and this has really, really helped to plump those back up to give me a little bit more luminosity and radiance um, when my skin just felt like, ugh. Um, so what I was gonna say is normally, so I also use an oil. When you're using oil with the counter match, you wanna actually use the oil at the end of your routine Typically, with other lotions, if you're using the nourishing or the rejuvenating, you do still use it under, okay? So everything I've said has not changed. If you're not using countermatch, you still use it underneath, or you can mix it in 
but because of the adaptive moisture technology, we don't want to be putting the oil on because it it's like confusing the lotion on how much hydration to apply, okay? So then if you use the oil, put that on last, and then we're gonna put our sunscreen on, which is the Dew Skin. Dew the Skin every single so day. Cool. Um, if your skin is dry, then then put on the Beauty Counter Lotion, because I put it on already. Mm-hmm, and it feels really nice, right? What does it smell like? It smells like flower sun rose. Flower sun rose, how beautiful. It actually smells like citrus mimosa, but flower sun rose sounds pretty nice as well. Um, okay, so sunscreen every single day, rain or shine, I don't care if it's snowing, I don't care if it's raining, I don't care if there's a hurricane, sunscreen, okay? Because you're not worried about protecting from your sunburn, but it's the aging rays that you want to um, protect against. And aging rays hit us when we're driving, when we're walking to our car, when we're walking to work, when we're walking to get Starbucks. Um, it's not burning us, but it is aging us, okay? And it's making your hyperpigmentation darker. It's making your fine lines and wrinkles more pronounced. Um, so sunscreen every single day. Valerie, is this your sunscreen? Okay, do you want to put it on? Okay, I so I still have so, the oil. Oh, on she face. has the oil on her face still. So as Valerie even uses this every single day, and I know that when she's in her 30s, she's going to be like, Mom, thank you for making me wear my sunscreen every single day because I sure as heck didn't when I was little. Um, okay, so that is our that is our counter match routine. If you're using it at nighttime, which I actually use this more in the nighttime, I love it. I have that exact routine, but I put this instead of this because this is going to be heavier and um, more kind of protective, nourishing, and rejuvenating overnight. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great day. Hope you're all Prepping, prepping, prepping for Christmas coming up soon. Anything you want to leave them with? Three? Three more days. Oh, three more days until Christmas. Woohoo! Bye.